So, this is something I don't do often on this channel. In fact, I don't think I've ever done one. Have I? Have I done an unboxing video? I can't remember, but if I did, let me know down in the comments if I did. I, can't, I honestly can't remember if I did or didn't. Um, pretty large box, but this is a start of a project. Um, <clears throat> with the new job, I get to do a lot of traveling around the state, and I wanted to make a go bag, so to speak. Um, something I can throw in the truck and travel the whole state and have a little bit of everything with me um, to catch fish in rivers, lakes, ponds throughout the state of Michigan. So this is the start of that project and I'll probably do a future video kind of showing what's in that bag um, once I get that done. But this is the start of that right here in this box. The base of it, what I'm building it out of is right inside this box. Plus there's some other goodies that I got for this year's fishing season. And this is probably one of many shipments I'm gonna be getting this year. So, let's get into this. You know what's funny? I only remembered some of the stuff I ordered, not all of it. So there's going to be some of this I'm actually can't remember if I ordered it or not, or I did order it. I can't remember. So, packing material. I'll worry about that later. That's paperwork. So, couple, I actually got a couple things in here. First off, um, this is for the boat, um, for getting it ready to go. Just some muffs. I've been borrowing a buddy's muffs. Went and got my own. Needed to have that kind of thing. Um, we've got some Z-Man products in here. Uh, we got TRD stuff, actually. We got White Lightning. I think I just got another bag of that one. Uh, the deal, got the craws and green pumpkin, the deal and the craw, uh, copper truce, blue black and the craw, green pumpkin and TRD, green pumpkin goby, and California craw, which is kind of like a watermelon red in the TRD craw. So there's those. That's going to be in the go bag. I also got myself some of the finesse bullets heads. That's for the crawls mainly. Got two colors, black and green pumpkin. And I think two sizes in those. Really, really neat um, how those work with the crawls. Uh, next up, I got these Kalen's scrubs. Kalen Scrubs. I actually got these for a chatterbait trailer. Just want to try them out. It's got these little little kick, uh, little kicking tails back here. Um, big heavy duty body on it. Just thought I'd try them on the back of a chatterbait this year. Um, just something different. We got white, chartreuse pearl, green pumpkin, and chartreuse and white, which is kind of like a lemon white kind of deal there. So that's kind of going in every bag probably uh we got some owner shaky heads quarter ounce three sixteenths uh mainly got these for pitching to the docks here on lake st Clair in the coming weeks um <laughs> this is um this is for sucker fishing prepare yourself for battle it's sucker season. 
I used to have a set of these and I couldn't find them. This is not the same exact set that I had, but we're going to give them a go. Um, this is just some rod holders for the sucker rods I can put in the bank. Have the rod sitting straight out like so. Um, that's right around the corner. I cannot wait for that. Next up is oh yeah, more more bullet cross. Next up is a bag from Plano um, that I'm actually really really excited about, uh, mainly because it's going to allow me to store a lot of bait, carry it easily, but also, as you can see, I got a place that I can actually put a hydration pack, so if I'm, you know, steelhead fishing or salmon fishing this summer, or this fall, and I'm in an area that I might need to hike into, I can actually hook up a hydration pack, which I do have the bladders, I can tuck that into there. Um, I can take this out all together and fold it up out of the way and add even more boxes in or I can store camera gear in the upper part and it comes with three trays and I'm not really probably going to use those trays in this bag because I bought other trays for that. Um, yellow storage pocket there, place for sunglasses, nice little strap on the back, storage on the side, just a nice quick handy dandy. This is my go bag for the road. So that way I can store a lot of variety in here. Spinners, plastics, jigs, you name it. Can't wait to load that up. So I said that those boxes were not gonna be used in that bag. It's because I'm gonna run these guys. These are the Slim 3600s. Um, if I did my calculation right, should be able to fit a ton of these in there. Do not open with a sharp instrument. I think we're going to open it with a sharp instrument. Let's live dangerously here. So there is six. Six of those. So let's see if I did my math right. I'm thinking I should be able to get six or eight of these in here. So I'm not carrying a lot of one thing, I'm just carrying a lot of variety. I was thinking I should be able to get at least six. Ho oh, ho, money. So I can fit six of those right inside of there and you know what and for the seventh so I bought eight of them yep I can fit seven of them in there where four of these regular 3600s were fitting in there so that is gonna be really really nice it's gonna let me basically do you know a spinner spoon box terminal box so I got my jig heads, shaky heads, net heads, stuff like that. Uh, stick baits, maybe some square bills, a couple chatter baits. You know, I can load all that right up into this bag. So I am looking forward to organizing this thing up. It's gonna be a lot of basic stuff, more likely uh, grubs, flukes, stuff that I can basically take anywhere and catch a lot of fish. We'll throw some four inch Senkos in there probably as well. So really, really cool bag. Seen it in our catalog. And when I was up at Anderson Pro Bait, he had one up on the shelf and you know what? I really liked it and I was like, you know what? This is gonna fit the bill beautifully for what I am trying to do. So I had to get it. So, there is that. And the very last thing in here, oh no, there's one more thing before I get to that. Um, I wanted to get a line box just to help spool, line up. Never had one of these, figured I'd give it a try. 
see if it's worth its money. Um, it holds six spools of line. We'll give her a go. We'll see if it works out for me this year. And the last thing. This is the most expensive thing in this box. Um, it's something that I wanted to get last year, but I never got a chance to. And that is a floating radio. Um, this has literally got marine, uh, it's a marine radio. It's also got GMRS on it, weather alerts. Um, just all kinds of stuff. It floats. It's a rechargeable lithium battery. Um, it works on hands-free. It's vibrating. Um, just cool, cool radio right up on it. Looked like a good good radio to pick up. So I'm going to try this. It's by Cobra. Um, so I got to do a little more learning about this. And I'm looking forward to trying this thing. Uh, yeah, I got a little... To learn up on this radio um, but it's good for on land and marine so good travel radio to have with me as well so that's what was in the box um, a little bit of stocking up for the season out of this box but a little bit of getting ready for the summer season on the road to allow me to try to make some fishing content you know Already on the road, I'm crossing tons of small rivers and streams that just look really, really inviting. And I just want to fish them. And I'm going to fish them when I have free time. Um, who knows? Might even get a chance to take some, go out and fish with some of my customers. Um, in their backyard, they'll take me out or we'll run into somebody. Um, or some other YouTubers throughout the state, maybe uh, hit up their boats or their rides or their, their honey holes with them and fish during the year. So that's it for this video, guys. Quick little unboxing, just kind of showing you where I might be heading this season out here on the great outdoors or out here in the great outdoors of Michigan. A super, super excited. Got some stuff for the boat, stuff for the road. So yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. Be sure to click down below, hit that red subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video and also so you get notified when I do a walkthrough of my bag once I get it all set up for the road. Uh, it might not be totally done when I show it off. So I still probably, probably won't have all my salmon steelhead stuff in there, but I'll have my general bass stuff in there. Um, but yeah, tight lines. Happy casting, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me. If you decide to drop your buckets where you are and develop your gifts, I grant you, you will never ever be without. I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you.